YouTube was good. It's your boy Agnell encouraging you to try something new. Man, this is a video that I've been waiting to do for, I don't know, man, five to seven years, bro. I'm finally, 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 finally debt free, completely debt free. I don't owe anybody anything. I don't owe any company any money. I don't know any person any money. I'm debt free. Let me take uh, like maybe a couple seconds to celebrate it. Hold on one second. I'm fucking debt free, baby. I'm debt free. Let's go. I'm really him. I'm him. I am him. H I M. That's me. I'm him. I did that. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Ric Flair on that ass. Let's go. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> that took a lot of energy, surprisingly. All right. Oof. So here's what happened, right? I woke up maybe two Sundays ago and I checked my email. I had seen an email that said on the subject line, it said, congratulations, the Biden-Harris administration has forgiven your loans. I was like, the hell? This can't be real. This can't be real. It might have been one of them spam emails, you know what I mean? So I went to go get my laptop. I logged on to uh, my student loan, the Mohela account. Before I, before, um, I got this email, the student loan uh, balance was around like maybe $7,100, right? And so I checked the email and, and mind you, I had this number in my head because I'm constantly checking it. Every time I make a payment, I'm like checking to see if it reflected on the account and everything. So I had $7,100 in my head. That's all I had left over. And I was I was bound to finish that up in August. But And then I, I logged on to the account after I seen that email and that shit said minus $5,600. I was like, what? What? Your boy was hype. Mind you, I was tired the night before. I was DJing and I, you know, I had a little bit of sleep and this and that. And so I woke up, I'm all groggy and stuff, checking my phone and I'm like, yo, this is real life. So now it's crazy that I used to owe, you know, the student loan company so much money. Now they owe me $5,600. It's, it's mind blowing for real. So yeah, I'm debt free now. And I'm gonna tell you guys um, the story behind my debt-free journey, how I feel about being debt-free, and what's next to come. So we'll start off with uh, the whole debt-free journey, okay? So 18 years old, went to a uh, private university in Connecticut, University of New Haven. I, I, I knew how much tuition cost, but I was so focused on just being away from family, living on campus, you know, going to parties and, you know, experiencing the whole college lifestyle. Got into the dental hygiene program. I'm like, yes, let's go. You know, it's time to party, this and that. And I graduated in three years with an associates, but I also was able to start working. And, uh, you know, after I passed my board exams and all that stuff, I got licensed and I started working on that third year while I'm finishing up my fourth year to get my bachelor's. At that, that whole time, loans were just racking up, racking up. I'm in and out of the bursar's office every semester to figure out how I'm supposed to pay for all of this uh, uh, tuition and stuff like that. So, end of the third year, started working as a hygienist, but I also got the uh, Dave Ramsey book, The Total Money Makeover. Shout out to my cousin Tanya, she's the one that kind of put me on to Dave Ramsey in, in general. So shout out to UT. So yeah, I started reading the Dave Ramsey book. I'm, I'm reading all the testimonials that he has in the book and all of this stuff. And there's some testimonials that are just like, hitting me hard because it's, it's, it's too close to my life, you know what I mean? And so I, at that point, once I finished reading the book, I'm like, you know what, let me just graduate and finish this bachelor's degree and then I'll worry about the loans once I cross that bridge, feel me? So graduated 2017, got my bachelor's, I'm still working as a hygienist, I'm maybe year one into working as a hygienist. And I sat down and had a notebook it was a red notebook, I remember this day clearly. Red notebook, 
went into all of my accounts, you know, and, and pretty much listed all my student loans, all my car loan, my medical bills, all the debt that I've had, I've listed it smallest to largest. And that's what Dave Ramsey wants everybody to do on Baby Steps. If you know the Baby Steps, then you know. You know what I mean? If you don't know, get the book and you'll find out. Hold on one second. The ceiling fan keeps turning on by itself. I don't know what it is. It's pissing me off. Hold on. Um, so yeah, listed all the debt smallest to largest. And after adding everything up, the total came to $182,000. And immediately when I saw that number, instantly anxiety, depression, all these thoughts kept running in my head. Like, yo, I just graduated. Like I'm supposed to be on top of the world. Like I'm ready for life. I got a job, I'm making money, this and that. Everything is supposed to be quote unquote good moving forward after you graduate. But all that debt literally erased all of that potential feeling. It wasn't good after I graduated because I had all of this debt and it was crazy. So during that time, I had to make a choice. I'm like, yo, okay, we got all this debt. You pretty much have the tools to get rid of all of this debt yourself. You just gotta pick which side you wanna be on. Do you want to stay in this whole, I'm depressed, I'm anxious, my life's supposed to be perfect, but it's not mentality? Or am I gonna go on this side and we're gonna get this debt paid off no matter what, we're gonna push, we're gonna work two, three jobs, you know, have my main job and side hustles, pick up extra shifts, this and that. And that's pretty much what I did. I chose that side. I chose the Dave Ramsey way, the gazelle intensity, get a whole bunch of jobs, all of this, and, and, and take all the extra money that you have after all your living expenses are paid for and throw it all at the debt. And I literally locked into it. And I was working almost every weekend uh, making money, doing Uber, doing like 18 hour uh, weekends, you know what I mean? Friday and Saturday, working 18 hours in two days, like just pushing with Uber. And then I would work maybe so, sometimes four, five, six times a week as a dental hygienist. I'm making money, making money, and throwing it all at the debt. And it wasn't making a very, very big debt. Don't get me wrong, like the small debts that I had, like a small student loan or like, my medical bills, those were getting paid off and it was really dope to like see it just go away forever. But I still had the big $120,000 student loan balance that um, was not gonna take a quick time to get rid of. And so I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo, and I started praying too. I'm like, yo, God, just, I didn't even really ask God to, give me more money. I asked him to like, give me more opportunities to make money. And I think that's something that like, I, I, I haven't thought about in a long time because it's so long ago that this happened. But like, I really think that had a lot of power in, um, in, in this whole debt-free journey. Because what happened after two years of working as a hygienist, so mind you, this must've been like around 2018, I had received a text message from my professor where um, she was telling me that there was a, a job opportunity out in Arizona where I had an externship that same clinic they reached out to my professor for me to see if they wanted me to move to Arizona and work for them I was so like caught off guard it was so random but I'm like yes let's go let's go like this is gonna be news gonna be exciting I fill out the application and all that stuff got the interview on the phone and I got the job and I told them I'm like yo give me three months let me pack up all my stuff say my goodbyes do whatever I gotta do and I'll be out there. Three months went by and I packed my car up and I moved to Arizona. Now, number one, that was probably the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. And number two, one of the benefits for that new job that I had, it was $20,000 a year to pay off your student loans. As soon as I figured that out, I'm like, oh, it's game time. It's really game time. So now I'm having a salary and I'm having this extra $20,000 a year, plus me doing Uber and side hustles all to pay off this debt. And so now I went from not having a lot of traction when I was in New Jersey to having all of this traction and the numbers, I kept seeing the numbers of the loans just 
go lower and lower and lower. Paid off my car, I'm like, yes, this is my car now. Like, nobody's repoing my shit. Like, this is my car. As I kept getting all these smaller debts paid off and paid off and paid off, I'm like, yes, let's go. This, that's all the momentum and the, and the uh, motivation that I had to just keep going, keep going. Cause we have, we got motion now, you feel me? Like we're, we're really moving right now. And so after years and years of having, you know, motion and money coming in and me chucking $1,500, $2,000, $3,000 towards my student loan payments and all my other debts and stuff, I got down to seven grand and then I got the email from the Biden administration saying that they forgave the rest of my loan. So they, they technically gave me $12,000 towards my loan. So that's pretty much the story behind it. And it, it was it was a wild ride because just me living out in Arizona by myself, no family, no friends. I had to make shit happen. Like it was, it was crazy. And there was days where I cried, I'm like I'm by myself, like I need help, this and that. And I, I knew that like, I kind of put in my head, I'm like, if I move back to Jersey, I failed myself. I did a disservice to myself because there's so much growth behind taking yourself out of a com comfortable situation being uncomfortable in a situation and then adapting to the discomfort. And that's that's what growth is. That's what I think growth is. And so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna stick with this. We're gonna get this debt paid off. We're gonna be uncomfortable. We're gonna learn new stuff about myself, about life. And that's literally all I did for the past, how long I've been here? Almost six years now. And I've learned so much, like 22 year old me that first got here, is a completely different person than the 28 year old person I am now today. Like my mind has expanded so much. And I think because of this big move and this whole debt free journey has it's helped me grow as a person so, so, so much. So yeah, that's pretty much a summary of my debt free journey. It's pretty crazy. So overall, the sources of income that I had was my main job, which was my nine to five, my dental hygiene job. Plus I was Ubering, excuse me. I was, sorry. I was Ubering and then I also tried new things and I started DJing about maybe two years ago. And that really started vamping up things. Like it, it really ramped up a lot of, um, a lot of money, honestly, it, it brought a lot more money into my pockets. So again, I was doing dental hygiene, I was uh, Ubering, and I was DJing, and then I also had those uh, $20,000 checks a year. So how do I feel about being debt free right now? At that first day where I woke up and I got that email, man, I was, <laughs> I had mixed emotions because number one, I was I was happy and I was hyped and I kind of felt that relief like, oof, finally, like we're done. Like This is seven years of work, just working hard, busting my ass. But then at the same time, I didn't want any cheat codes. I didn't, I, and I feel like that whole debt for, forgiveness thing, it was, it was a cheat code to me. And so I guess it's a pride thing. I don't know what it is, but I wanted to say that I paid off every single last penny of my student loans, all of my debt, all of my debt. I wanted to be like, yeah, I did that. And I didn't get that opportunity. But at the same time, I'm like, I really can't do much about it. I'm not about to send back $12,000 to the, to the government. Like it's not happening. So I'm just like, eh. It's all good. It is what it is. So, but I mean, now it's like, there's so many doors and opportunities that have come to me now that I'm debt free. And especially now that like, I, I can use all that extra money that I've been chucking towards my debt to do whatever the hell I want. Like it's, it's going in my pockets. That's a, that's a different flex, honestly. Like you, it gave me like financial confidence. Now it's just like, all right, what's next? What's next? Like I could do whatever I want with this money. I'm going on a vacation. I'm planning a trip to go to Brazil in February for their carnival festival thing every year that they have. I'm gonna go crazy in Brazil. Like it, it's, it's going down. Like, and it's cool to do that. Like to, to even like say that just cause I haven't been on like a big grand vacation in a long, long, long time. So now it's like, yes, finally. And I don't have to come back 
after the vacation, regretting that I spent all this money and it could have went towards my debt. Like, I don't have that regret anymore. Like, I spent the money and I enjoyed it and that's it. There's nothing else behind it. It's a, it's a big flex, honestly. It's a really a big flex. And so lastly, what's next? Like I said, we're going to Brazil. We're, we're gonna be traveling a lot more, a lot more for sure, like without a doubt. And this, this is something that I've always wanted to do is just travel to different states. So like next month, I'm going to, um, where am I going? I'm going to Washington for two national parks. We're gonna be hiking Mount Rainier and Olympic National Park. And um, I'm gonna go see Seattle. It's just, um, I've never been to Seattle, so I'm just going there. But other than that, like, I, uh, I really want to focus on personal development. I wanna try and focus on improving every aspect of my life. Like, so for example, physically, I wanna improve. Mentally, I wanna improve. Emotionally, spiritually, and even financially too. And honestly, guys, I've watched a lot of Kevin Samuels videos. Rest in peace to the Godfather. And he motivated me to do exactly what I just said, improve on my personal development. So in the gym, I wanted, I know I've been in the gym for years and I'm doing Muay Thai and stuff, but I do wanna, I still have a physique that I want to maintain. You know what I mean? And I'm not there yet, so I wanna work on that. I wanna get an image consultant, so I, you know, change the way I dress, and I wanna get braces, I want to get right with God, even build my brand up, work on this YouTube channel. Like, since I don't have to work six, seven days a week, there's gonna be a lot more wiggle room for me to do all of these things that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I also want to work on my public speaking. I want to save up for a new car. I want to become a better DJ. Like there's so many things that I want to do. And now that the debt is out the way, I can start chipping away at all of these things. And honestly, it's really exciting because it's, it's going to be cool to see myself and feel myself transform into a different better, more improved person. I'm gonna be Ox 2.0, like it's, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. And with that being said, like after this whole debt-free journey thing, and now that I'm debt-free, it's very hard for me to spend money now. Like I wanted to treat myself and it was very tough for me to hit that submit button to buy a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't need, but I just wanted, feel me? So like, I bought myself some jewelry. Let me show you this jewelry that I got. Hold up. A few moments later. Like, uh, yo, look at this. Look at this. This is dope. Like, this is something that I, I, I like jewelry, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really like jewelry. I like having earrings. The, the the necklace the, and I'm about to like get some some bracelets or a watch or something like I like being a little bit flashy I'm not gonna lie but all I have to say is that like I had a hard time hitting that submit button to purchase it but then in the back of my head it's like yo you don't have to be so tense about spending money anymore like again I've, I've spent the last six years not spending money on things that I wanted to do, vacations, buying, you know, jewelry, buying video games, buying a new TV, all this stuff. Like I, I held off on doing that because I was so locked into uh, um, becoming debt free. Like this is like a new muscle. This is a muscle, a spending muscle that I have to learn how to use and I have to exercise it a little bit just so that I can enjoy my money. It's to the point where I got used to not enjoying my money because it was going towards student loans the whole time and car and credit cards and this and that. So now that I have the ability to enjoy it, it's hard for me to do it. So now I'm like exercising that muscle of spending money to enjoy it. And it's, that's exactly what I do with this. And so there's gonna be a lot more to come to, to spend money on and stuff. But for now, I'm like, we have to work on this. Cause it's not just be so strict with money, be so strict with money, play with money. You got you, you have to enjoy life. You gotta enjoy your money. You work hard, you play harder. So that's, that's something I'm trying to get used to for real. All of that refraining from not doing what I wanted to do, it definitely paid off. Definitely paid off, like no pun intended. <laughs>
And now I have this mental discipline of, hell no, I'm not going back into debt. Like it's not happening. I will never do this ever again in my life. Like go into this much debt with a, with a poor return on investment. Even if there isn't a poor return on investment, like I'm not, I'm not doing this shit ever again. Like it's not happening, it's not happening. So I think that's a good balance of me exercising that muscle of spending money. And then that, that mental discipline that I've developed over the course of these past several years, that'll keep me in check. So if I do ever start to go crazy with spending money, I can tone myself down like, yo, you need to chill. Like you can't be spending all this money on this, 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 and that. You didn't even save up for this. Like you need to relax. So I got that nice balance now. Is it, Before it was just, don't spend your money at all. Now it's like you can spend your money on whatever you want, but it's gonna be balanced out. And I think that's dope. I think that's dope. Again, going through stuff like this, it builds mental strength to, to resist uh, doing things that you wanna do, but shouldn't do at that time. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but it's real, it's real, you feel me? So yeah, guys, I'm freaking debt free now, yo. This is like the coolest shit in the world, man. I'm like, it was so hard, man. This is probably one of the hardest things ever. But I came out of that hole. Like I kept, you know, trying to cl climb out the hole, climb out the hole. And I finally made it out and I could see the sun. You feel me? Like the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm at the light, yo. I am the light. You feel me? Like it's, it's dope. It's dope. And so honestly, a message to everybody that's in debt right now and they're drowning and it's horrible, bruh, get the Dave Ramsey book, listen to his shows, his podcasts, all that stuff. I think he's great when it comes to money in general, but especially getting yourself out of debt, like it's, it's like no brainer, no brainer. I, I wouldn't go to anyone else except for Dave Ramsey or when it's, when it's coming to, to debt and to build wealth the long way, but the less risky and wiser way, in my opinion. And just just keep pushing, yo. Keep pushing, it's gonna be a long road, but like you will get there, I promise you, yo. Seven years of me in the trenches, bro. Like mental health was on the brink of like, yo, I was, I was down bad. I was down bad, mind you, it's, you know, the debt was one big catalyst behind my mental health issues and, and going to therapy and all that stuff. There was a whole bunch of other stuff going on, but like, I was in the trenches. It was bad, it was really, really bad. And if I could make it out of that hole, that financial hole, that mental hole that I dug myself into, I don't see why anyone else can't do it either. I'm walking living proof of it. I highly encourage you to try it. Try, 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 try new things. This is gonna be new. It's gonna be uncomfortable for you. It's gonna suck, but you can do it, yo. I swear you could do it. You can freaking do it. So get after that shit for real. And that's the end of my video, guys. I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like, hit the subscribe button for your boy. Send this to somebody to to try and get them to get motivated to change their lives and get out of debt. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a very very life changing thing to do. Thank you for watching. It's your boy, Agnell, encouraging you to try something new. I'm debt-free, baby. Thank you for watching.